Hey there, welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time you saw me do an optional dungeon, took forever. And a lot of dragon cart stuff, which now we, if I uh, am thinking of it correctly, we're locked out of for the moment until we progress to the story, which we are going to do today, honestly. Actually, real quick, um. Oh, I want to change my oh wait 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 before I even do that I need to do my drink links with uh, my party members but yeah I want to see what classes we have I think I'm going to go back to breaker for Kazuga Ichiban um yeah can I help you yes okay I immediately I think I want to go breaker Oh, what do I want? Yeah, why not? All right, you take your time. All right, we got that drunken time. Oh, okay, the drunker, the bigger the crit. Okay, I want you to be a host, maybe or chef. Yeah, host. Congratulations. You gotta change classes sometime. You are going to be a homeless guy. Think? Not really, no, not yet. Oof. A breaker. Bodyguard. A chef. Yeah. Um I like that. You're doing great. We're finally going to do a chef and then Jungking Hung. Here you are. Who is getting real Oh my god, that was really good. But it's time. I want you to be a bodyguard. Oh, please. Yes. Congratulations. I'm sure you'll do great. Can I help oh, you? Oh, actually, let me change uh so let's change you since i'm not using you at the moment you're gonna get xp anyways so i want you to level up musician congratulations all right he'll do his thing okay you're still dealer what do you think dealer is really good a sense of russian roulette and fortune wheel i'll leave her be for now and then you are going to become a Hostess, no idol, Hamako. Yeah, no. Oh my god, I love the You're purple. Great. All right, now we got I'll stuff going on. All right, let's do some gear. Yeah, look at all the anklets I have now. All right, power ring, we're replacing you with boot box. Yeah, there we go. Sparkling rose. And you should have a fancy business card. And you are magic, so let's uh, actually change that. There we go. Your Chinese ladle is actually really good. Nice, nice. And once again, pork tongues and magic. Oh, yeah, there we go. Swordsman's Sash. Dreamy Signature. Uh, we're leaving you that. And that. Yep, you should be all good. So let me get rid of the rest of Chainmail and replace it with. Oh, yeah, I don't have one for. Well, we'll just do. Oh, right. Uh. You're gonna need that if I ever use you. And probably something with. Oh my, that's really good. I'll give you that. Why not? For you. All right. I feel like level up breaker. All right, now we're gonna go eat and then we'll do story.
I only want to just, you know, I want to get everyone healed up so I don't have to worry about for a while. Hello, okay. Um, let's have a meal. What do I want? Give me that, that, and that. All right. Now we're going to do their drink links and now we're doing main story. Drink links are important to me, okay? I don't care what you guys say. Oh, it ruins the flow of the game. Drink links are important. Oh, they're ready to harvest. <laughs> uh, mysterious leaf. And mysterious fruit. drink links that are happening so uh let's start with the um, namba and then we'll go sugi and hun and then we'll go uh Zhao. hey namba you thinking what i'm thinking if it's a drink you want i can't i have to take care of some shopping you? Shopping? It's for the bartender. Uh, he told me he'd give me an extension on my tab if I ran a couple errands for him. <sighs> Pain in the ass all the same. Man, you are giving a much better deal than he is. Uh, maybe so. In any case, I'll see you around. Okay, see you in a bit. Running around doing manual labor at my age. Where did I go wrong? Last time uh, we sat down for a drink, Namba said he gave up his career for Mizu-chan. He wanted to see her off too before she left the country. Too bad he doesn't have a clue about how to do that. So, Namba and Mizu-chan. I assume you're hatching a plan to reunite them? Hold on. How in the heck did you... Eavesdropping on customers has never been my policy. But you two hardly count. You mean you were listening in when Namba was pouring his heart out? Not like I tried to. I just happened to be at the counter and something he said made me put two and two together. What do you mean? There's a bar I go to every so often. Just got themselves a new hostess. I believe her name's Futaba. What's she gotta do with Namba? Well, as it turns out, this Futaba had been a nurse up until just recently. She was telling me about her nursing life at the hospital and in the middle of her story. Wouldn't you know it? A medicine theft turned up. She said a nurse who worked there, some guy, admitted to the theft before the cops could get involved. What? But that... that could only mean... I know. She had to have been talking about Namba. If that's true, then the two of them worked at the very same hospital. Naturally, I'd assume she would know when Mizue-chan is leaving. Have you told Namba any of this? No, not yet. Besides, he said it himself. He couldn't reach out to his colleagues even if he wanted to. On the other hand, I'm sure his drinking buddy could reach out on his behalf. I get you. Man, you came strong with that one. But listen, if you do go and meet Fataba, I wouldn't tell Namba if I were you. Yeah, wouldn't want to make it seem like I'm doing it behind his back. I figured as much. So I called Futaba's bar and spoke to the mama there. She said Futaba's on her way. She's on her way here? Wait, is that why you sent Namba shopping? Dude, how do you think that many moves ahead? Bringing people together is what a bartender does. All I can do is facilitate. The rest is up to you. Then I won't let this chance go to waste. Okay. Hey. So, my boss said you wanted to see me? Your Futaba-san? In the flesh. <sighs> Am I supposed to know you? No. I just wanted to ask you a few things. Uh, here, have a seat. How long's this gonna take? I'm off today, and I was planning to hit the pachinko parlor. Okay, I'll make it quick. And now, listen, you were a nurse before, right? Yeah, and? 
One of your colleagues got fired for selling off meds. You remember who that was? God, how would I know? I'm sure you heard something. I'm thinking he's a friend of mine. Look, the only thing I know about it is that the guy was some four-eyed mo. Yep, that's Namba. Oh, that has to be Namba. <laughs> <laughs> that name does ring a bell. Hey, hon. No way. Shut up! They raised the jackpot? Babe, do not let anyone sit there. I'm on my way right now. Before you go, tell me, do you know anyone named Mizue chan As she worked with you at the hospital Who and- Who even cares? Chinko time! Wait, we're not done! Hey guys. Namba, hey! <laughs> Back already? Man, you shop quick. Yeah, well, I forgot the shopping list. So I had to come back and get it. Anyway, who was that walking out of here just now? Did you say what? I couldn't see her face or anything, but wasn't there a lady just in here? Nah, you need better glasses, man. Nobody came in or out of here, right, bartender? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Is there a reason you two are acting suspicious as hell? Nope. Whoa, let's tone it down, buddy. Could it be the two of you are conspiring to throw me a surprise birthday party? Uh-huh. You knew I had a birthday coming up, so you two must have gotten together to plan the whole thing out. Uh, yup. You got us, man. Now the surprise is ruined. See, I knew it. You always go over the top when it comes to these things. So, what kind of party are we talking here? Give me a hint. Okay, oh... Uh, yeah. Sorry, man. Top secret. You can't even give me a hint? Sure would cheer me up. It might now, but... Wouldn't you rather save some excitement for your birthday? Hmm... I wouldn't be opposed to that. They say hunger is the best spice, and, uh, a suspense is the spice of birthdays. Totally. So how about you kick back and let me spice this birthday up? All right. I'm convinced. I'll try to be patient. There's a champ. Trust me, it'll be worth it. That seemed to do the trick. I know I, I hyped his birthday up a lot there, but I'll find a way to make it work. <laughs> At least I confirmed Futaba and Namba it did work together, but I didn't get any details on Mizu-chan. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to contact Futaba oh, again. Right. As soon as I'm back from the store, we are drinking. I'll be here, man. Oh, and you better not pull some. I forgot my wallet crap again. Shoot. I actually did forget my wallet. <laughs> this guy. Hmm. All right, one more rank and you are good to go. Host and enforcer. All right. All right, back to you. Yo, Junki Han. If you're here drinking by yourself, I might as well join you. Is that so? Well, I have no reason to tell you no. Do as you like. By the way, Kasuga-san, there's something I should tell you. Hmm? What's up? I was contacted by someone in the Komijuru. I have been told a group of people have been looking into me as of late. They seem to have learned that Jungi Han is somewhere in Ijincho. No fooling. What's that all about? No, we don't have much to go on at the moment. Nonetheless, we verified suspicious activity in my wake. That said, if they come seeking hostility, you and the others may be dragged into it along with me. Oh, uh, you know what? You know I don't mind getting dragged into your bullshit. We're tight. That's precisely why I don't want to trouble you. Don't be stupid. What's a friend for if you can't cause him some trouble every now and then? I welcome it with open arms, in fact. I can handle whatever shady shit you can throw at me. <laughs> Such enthusiasm. I can't say I'm not amused. So, any guess as to who these guys might be? 
I can't be 100% certain, but it's highly likely that they're remnants of the Jingon Mafia. Jingon Mafia? Then they're basically old allies, right? It's hard to say. To them, I'm just cannon fodder impersonating their dead boss. Perhaps they see that as unforgivable, in which case their goal would be to punish me. Punish? It's possible they'd go so far as to kill me. Then couldn't we just avoid all this shit by saying you're not Jungi Han anymore? Maybe so. It's gotta be weird being another person forever. It's probably best to just be yourself, right? If I were you, I'd try to get my old name and face back. Hmm. <laughs> a name is one thing. A face, however, it's not something you can change time and time again. Moreover, I'm still waiting for more information on my pursuers. We shouldn't need to take action just yet. Well, it's your call, so I'm good with that. But won't it be a drag if you get caught with your pants down and you're left wishing you would have been ready? <laughs> right. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Man, you're always playing it so fucking cool. Would it kill you to listen to someone else for once? I'd ask that you refrain from praise. You'll only embarrass me. It wasn't a damn compliment. Hmm. All right, rank two. Oh, he can now be the enforcer. Nice. Pardon me, wants to change Namba, Namba to Enforcer. Alright, and now Zhao. First Link? Let's see what he has to say. Mr. Really cool. Yo! How goes it, Kasugakun? <laughs> look at you. You're blending in already, Zhao. You know it. Turns out drinks taste a lot better without bodyguards watching your every move. Yeah? So that was the life of the former leader of the Yokohama Liumong. That shit was dumped on me from the day I was born. Kind of a drag. Growing up knowing you had a fucking script. Well, the nice thing about alcohol is it tastes better if you complain while you're drinking it. Ah, oh, sure. Enjoy my childhood trauma. <laughs> but I guess after all the shit you've been through, you've earned it. Your dad led the Yokohama Liumong before you, right? What's he doing now? He died a few years after retiring, right in his bed. He's lucky he never got shot or stabbed. Hey, yeah. That's a real achievement for a gang boss. Yeah, I guess so. He only managed it by sleeping with one eye open his whole life. No matter how you slice it, it's not a great way to live. I sure as hell didn't want to lead the Liumong. Mamuchi. This shit was always up his alley. You mean Lauma? What even happened to that guy? I haven't even seen him since we kicked his ass during the whole Omi Alliance thing. Don't you know what the Yokohama Liumong does to traitors? They use him as filling that goes inside meat buns. What? You serious? Right now, Lauma is. Balma? <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking hilarious. But I was kidding. You think I'm the kind of guy who'd do that? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a joke. Uh, him being your right-hand man and everything. And you're not the kind of guy to turn a brother into a meat bun, no matter what he did. <laughs> Appreciate that. I like to think I don't give off that vibe. I did stop short of giving Mabuchi what he deserved, after all the shit he put me through. What does that mean? Did you... kill Mabuchi? Oh, <laughs> you're softer than any bun out there. Look at you all worried. I just don't like the thought of that happening to people. Even creeps like Mabuchi, who murdered your boss without a second thought? Even creeps like him. All I wanted was to knock that guy's lights out and hand him to the cops. <laughs> but by the time his lights were nice and knocked out, the Omi showed up, and you never saw him again, did you? You really did kill him, didn't you? All right, I'm bored of messing with you. I didn't kill him. Oh, <laughs> had a feeling you didn't. Why is that? Hard to explain, but... 
I don't get that vibe from you. Not one bit. In fact, it always kind of felt to me like your hard ass act was just a show for your boys. A front you put on. Ah, that's a little harsh there, eh, Kasuga kun? You don't strike me as the type to lock guys up or torture them either. Especially one of your own, like Mabuchi. Hmm. He and I call the same place home. Nothing could make me take his life. But now, Song Hui's in charge of the Yokohama Liumang. It's up to her to settle things if Mabuchi shows his face again. He's the reason Komi Jewel's a pile of ashes, so... I don't think she'll be treating him as nice as I would. <laughs> Probably not. Which is why I gave Mabuchi the heads up and told him to leave Ijincho. Really? Well, that's taking things into your own hands. A few of his boys went with him, and I forgave the ones that wanted to stick around. It's a hard reset. Clean slate for everyone. Song Hui was good with that. You two are more generous than I thought. Mabuchi brought in a lot of cash for us, and he was damn consistent about it. The fact that he kept a bunch of shit hidden from us was an issue, but I could deal. So you knew about it, and you just let it slide? The guys from my dad's generation were pissed, for sure. Kept saying Mabuchi was breaking sacred laws of the gang. But what did they expect from a sadist in Japan's most famous gray zone? And that he'd have a moral compass or some shit? <laughs> Seriously? How about we toast to Mabuchi, wherever he might be? Well, he's no friend of mine, but what the hell? If you can cheer to him, I can too. Now we're talking. Hmm, okay. And that is everyone's links. Now we're going back to story. Oh, hey, by the way, what can I do? Welcome. I can make some medicine. Thanks. Holy cow, can I run out of the door? Alright, the quickest way there is can quest. Let's see what she wants, guys. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, there she is. Waiting for us. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Hamago-san? What's all this? Didn't I tell you? I'm decluttering. I lugged all this out here by myself. Oh, I'm beat. I was hoping you big, strong men might do the rest. You buying new futons or something? Business must be good. Wait, there's no one here. Where are the girls? They all quit. What? I'm closing up shop. Huh? <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Eugene Cho Revitalization Shelter. It's a facility in Hamakita Park. Bleach Japan set it up. Girls from the industry and their families can live there free of charge. For free? Damn. And all your girls went there? Sure did. Why wouldn't they? The facility's offering job training and legal help with visas. No better place for girls like them who don't have citizenship. And Bleach Japan is behind this whole operation? Yeah, they're being useful for one. Yeah, I smell a trap. That's uh, definitely not happening. They're gonna open more just like it, too. And they even offered to buy my place and turn it into a shelter. But then what are you going to do? This place is your bread and butter, isn't it? Oh, they thought of that. 
They gave me a job at the shelter. I'm gonna be the dorm mother. Well, it's good pay, and perfect for a feisty old gal like me. Gotta say, I'm coming around on these do-gooders. Come on, Hamako-san. Don't you remember what they put you through? Yeah, sure, they were annoying. Bunch of kids tramping around, shouting shit they heard in prep school. But hey, now they're putting their money where their mouth is. It wasn't just a bunch of whining. They actually did something about it. And apparently the shelters were Ryo Aoki's idea. I have to say, it's pretty damn genius of him. Not to be a downer, but don't you think he's basically just buying boats? Once the election is over, I bet you he's gonna forget all about these shelters. Yeah, seriously. Politicians pull this shit all the time. But you don't know him. You can't just assume he's like that. Besides, you got some better option for my girls? Any spare rooms you'll let them live in? I'll have you know, Aoki-san came all the way out to Ijincho today. Wait, he's in town? He's attending Ogasawara-san's funeral. See? That shows he's a good guy. The guy who's got a million things on his plate, but still carves out time for a friend. You've got no business bad-mouthing him when you don't even know him. Well, technically, he does know him, but just... Here, in the Gene Show. You gonna go see him? Yeah. There's stuff I want to ask him about. Uh, me too. Like what his connection to Horonouchi is. You guys are nuts. Well, what's your plan? Stroll up and demand a meeting with the most powerful man in Tokyo? Oh, funerals are easy to sneak into. Everyone's too polite to ask questions. Why are you supporting this lunacy? Sorry, Hamako-san. But do you mind if I get rid of your trash some other day? What's wrong with now? <laughs> There's just this thing I gotta take care of. Fine. Just don't leave me hanging, okay? <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. So does anyone know where this funeral is? If it's any Jincho, it's gotta be at the Morgon Central. That's where Nonomiya's funeral was. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's roll on over there. All right. Oh, wow, that's actually quite close. <laughs> Let's go to this field. Wait, what the? Oh. Damn it, we got pseudo trash. I'll show you a There we go. Sweet! Moving up in the world. I'll take it. Ogasawara-kun, I remember the day we met like it was yesterday. Nice. There's still time. Hey, let us through. We're here to pay our respects. Hey, are you with Bleach Japan? No, but we knew Ogasawara. Not good enough. The ceremony's just for family and Bleach Japan members. Well, maybe they'll let us light some incense. <laughs> They aren't even allowing journalists like me in. This monitor is all we get. Today, we celebrate Ogasawara-kun's memory. We do so here in Ijincho, the city of his heart and soul. You, more than anyone, yearn to see this city reborn. It was only six months ago that you came here with your family. And I remember how eager you were to change this town for the better. It became your passion in life. But one cannot truly care about a city until they become one of its people, which is why I was so moved when you chose to reside in Ijincho. There is no greater tragedy than the dreams we leave behind in death, and yours were bigger than most ever dared. I know this as your classmate in our youth, as your peer who shared your ambitions but most of all, simply as a friend, you left too soon. This is truly, truly a great loss. 
And so, what choice do we have but to face the future without you? We look to Kumekun, the protege to whom you entrusted so much. He has stepped forward to carry on your dream. And is there any greater honor than when, in our passing, someone else picks up the torch where we left it? You and I always believed we could help people find their way together. Which is why, in the coming election, I will throw the entirety of my support behind Kume. I say this not as the Citizens' Liberal Party Chair, but for you, Ogasawara Kum, as your friend who would see your dream come true. I swear to do everything in my power to bring your dream, Free Jincho, to fruition. That is the least I can do for you, my old friend. Rest now and smile down on us from heaven. <sighs> Those crocodile tears going. All right. Who well, in God's name is pinging me? God damn. Conversation. There we go. Sorry. Ogasawara, son. We will continue your work for you. Just listen to this governor. He really cares. He's in more grief than anyone here. And he still gave a speech. Strong man given a strong eulogy. If Aoki really did order Ogasawara's death, well, then he's quite the actor. Bastard's grooming Kume for political office. What the hell is his plan? Hey, there he is. Let's move. How many seats is the Citizens Liberal Party targeting this cycle? Any comment? Alkisan, should we take your statement today as a campaign launch announcement? Any comment at all? Just a soundbite, Alkisan. Clear the way. What's your motive for holding a new election? Hey, don't push. I said don't push. All right, folks, let him through. Let him through. Alki. Hey, Governor Alki. Ah, that's no good. Can't even get close. Let's head him off. How? It's not like the governor took a train here. He's got to have a car nearby. Sure, but how are you going to find it? Check every parking spot in the neighborhood? You know, I once read in some tabloid that celebrities park underground to avoid the paparazzi. Aoki probably uses the same strategy, don't you think? Yeah, that's a thought. Any underground lots around here? Yeah, there's a big one. Its entrance is by the river. Great, let's check it out. All right, let's see if we can see the old master. Aoki, young master, whatever you want to call him. Must. Oh, hi, man. Just ignore me. Oh, geez, that's a big group of people. Right. Medium well. Oh, that is not where I wanted it. Whoop, take this. Combos for the host. Cool. Eyes on me. Yeah. You can win. Goodbye. Excellent. 
want. I'm getting stronger. Look at me go. All right. Hmm? Huh? What's going on? The governor must have rented out the entire parking garage. Damn. Damn it. What do we do now? We'll never get to him like this. Are there any other elevators that connect to this garage? I don't think... I think so, but if this is anything to go on, they've probably blocked off. Need some kind of hidden elevator, son. <laughs> hidden elevator, eh? That's it. There's one, actually. For real? For real? A few years back, I got really drunk. I came to, I was in the elevator. When the doors opened, I was in an underground parking structure. I bet they overlooked that one. <laughs> nice. So where is it? Well, it was, a uh... Shoot. I can't remember. Go. Dude. This is the most important part. Like I said, I was drunk. But now that I think about it, that mm, must mean I was in a building with a bar. Yep. And if the garage is underground by the river, that has to be somewhere along the river, too. Building with a bar by the river. That narrows it down enough, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's get looking. Uh, yeah, basically, survive. I'm too lazy to walk that far. Let's go. Also, I'm shocked I haven't been emailed or texted about the Sujimon with all the new ones I've gotten recently. Alright, I'm just gonna wait for those guys to pass. Or what I could do is this. Nope. Hi. Goodbye. Hey, yeah. Hey, Ichiban, check it out. Hmm? An elevator. <laughs> hey, that's the one. Looks like it's still running. Let's get in there. Okay. Yeah, come on. Copy that. We'll be ready to move out right away. Start the car. The governor's en route. Bingo. You were right on the money, Sachan. There he is. Ah, okay. Let's do this. Stop! Identify yourselves! What are you doing here? Chill out, fellas. I just want to talk to the governor. Not a chance! Get back! Code Red, we got trespassers! Mr. Governor, this way! Trespassers? Don't make assumptions, pal. Then who are you? Are you media? We're fans of the governor. We just want to shake his hand, okay? Not right now. Please? Come on. You can't! You'll just take a second! The governor ain't got time! Take a walk, Jack! Take a walk, Jack? <laughs> you from Kansai? You got a problem with that? Oh, me. <laughs> Alliance. Well, it means you're Omi. <sighs> I don't hear you denying it. Wow. A governor employing Yakuza as his bodyguards. Unreal. Shut up! I'm a civilian working security! Speaking Kansai don't automatically make someone owe me, you damn smartass. Oh, you're angry I assume something? You assumed we were trespassers! Because that's what you are! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just calm down now. Why don't you do yourself a favor and step aside? If not, We'll have to... FACE! Whoa, easy. That's quite the weapon you got there. I was only gonna ask for a light, man. <laughs> Why's a local security guard packing something like that, anyway? Asshole. I'm about to shoot you just because you're annoying. 
Did the safety on? Huh? <coughs> the oldest trick in the bloody book. Gotcha, fucking rookie. You think I'm playing, you dried up sack? They want to fight. Let's give them a bloodbath. Man, only idiots fall for the safety being on. Get it? Just it, whatever. Uh, whatever. Let's do. Okay, nope. Um, here, let's give him some booze. It's on us. You know what? I could. Let's get nutty. Don't ask me how we're getting this through in the underground parking lot. Well, actually, it explains it. All right. one guy oh no here let me do it back to you oh you don't like fire well guess what goodbye you have fire now you have ice oh you're not dead i'm shocked actually Hold. Sweet. Birthday bash, healing, up. cutlery clash, agility, a wire havoc, I did it. attack, and magical song nice. defense. Oh my, you got a lot. You fucking wait. <laughs> You okay? Well, oh well, look who it is. What have you done? Uh, Mr. Governor. Can't you tell the difference between thugs and law-abiding citizens? What's wrong with you? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We are terribly sorry about this. Do you need medical attention? I never thought I'd see the day when my own guards hurt a citizen. I'm just glad I saw the scuffle in the rearview mirror. Please, let me help you up. Sir. Tonight, go to Orohime Land alone. I'll do the same. It's such a relief that none of you were hurt. Please accept my sincere apologies for all of this. I'd also like to apologize on behalf of my guards. I'll be giving them a strict lecture later. Hmm. But for now, I must ask that you excuse me. I'm late for an appointment. Listen, 
What did Aoki say? Yeah. He wants me to meet him at Ohime Land tonight. He, inv he invited you? Yeah, but one on one on the condition that we meet alone. He's going alone, so I'll do the same. You really think you can trust him? Mm. It reeks of trap to me. <laughs> if we doubt every step we take, we'll never get anywhere. This is my chance I've been waiting for. So you're gonna do it, huh? Yeah, totally. Hey. Then we'll at least hide nearby so we can help if needed. Oh. I appreciate it, but it's gonna be fine. What makes you so sure? It's still possible that he'll keep his word show alone. Well, nah. I don't believe that for a second. You've seen how calculated his every move has been, haven't you? Yeah. But if he does, and I don't, then I'm the scum of the earth. And I'm not gonna be that guy. Ichiban. When he gives you the eye, that means his mind's made up. Yo. Better be ready for anything. Luckily, we've got time before nightfall. Okay. Yeah. Alright, maybe side quests pop up now because, you know. We have time before nightfall. I think right now would have been the most best time to do all the side quests. Oh, it is nightfall. Any side quests? Do, 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 do. No. Alright. I'm gonna save. Uh, which one was the save? This one. We're gonna go to Odihime Land. I already did all the side quests. I'm not doing the dungeon again. <laughs> no. Let's talk with the Arakawa. Pocket tissues, or I can go play poker. Here we are. Here we are, Old Email Land. You ready for this? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, time for a chat with the young master. Hey. Be safe, okay? I mean it. Listen. If anything feels off, you turn right around. We got this, man, don't worry. Young master. You were born in a dump much like this one, weren't you? It's been a while, young master. I figured you'd want to see me. I know what you want to ask. Why did I change my name? Why am I a politician? Why did I help destroy the Tojo clan? And are you curious about my lack of a wheelchair these days? You actually willing to explain any of it? I am. My condition was cured in America. I got a lung transplant. Did you know that if you drop a stack of cash into the right palm over there, you can buy an organ? Incredible. But even with deep pockets, Nothing is simple for the son of a Yakuza boss. That why you changed your name? Yes. I did it because I was born the son of Masumi Arakawa. And because my condition robbed me of the youth everyone else got to have. I was happy to change my name and start a new life separate from all of that. <laughs> and look at the results. I'm not only the governor, but also the chair of the ruling party. <sighs> What's wrong? You can't bring yourself to congratulate me? Not from the heart, no. Are you even happy as a politician? Politics is a good life. Unlike the Yakuza, 
You don't have to use violence to assert control. I can improve people's lives, and they're grateful to me for it. You think Ogasawara is grateful? You killed him. <laughs> oh, that. That was just a sensible precaution. Man, listen to yourself. <laughs> Come on. After you kidnapped him, he ran his mouth about Bleach Japan, did he not? He was never much for discretion. He swore to me that he didn't tell you anything, of course. But I could see the truth in his eyes. That sealed his fate. So, you just kill people over an assumption? Without even bothering to check? I'm checking now. Did he tell you the secrets of Bleach Japan or not? Well, that's... I mean... See? Proper risk management is all about mitigating threats before they... But he was your buddy! He helped you start Bleach Japan! Being at the top means you have to know when people are no longer... relevant. Like father, like son, right? My father looked after you for years. But when he had to, he cut you from the family. That's not how it went down! He asked me to go to prison to keep the whole Arakawa family safe! You think that's why? Captain Sawashiro killed some guy who reported directly to the Tojo clan. If we had let Sawashiro get arrested, the Arakawa family would have had to own up to it, since they were lower on the ladder. <laughs> oh, Kasuga. Whether you went to prison or not, Sawashiro wasn't going to be arrested. You don't know that. Oh, but I do. Because Sawashiro didn't kill that guy in the first place. What? As I recall, that night was the last time I saw you. Yeah, that club in Kamurocho we went to. On New Year's Eve. Yeah. It was your girlfriend's birthday. Right. I've certainly had better nights. What? Young Master? How long have you been there? Um... Young master? So... Did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Get up! You can't sleep here, you fucking drunk! Come on, move your ass! Uh, f fuck off, man. This building is my family's property. So clear out. Go on, go! Yakuza? That means you're garbage. 
fuck you say? Don't touch me! You're a coward, you turf now, fool. In this town. Let me go! Fear the Yakuza. I don't know what backwoods village you might be from, but you're about to learn about Kamurocho the hard way, motherfucker! <laughs> you think you're hot shit because you know how to hold a gun? Where'd you buy that thing, huh? Your local toy shop? Huh? You want me to pull the trigger, you son of a bitch? Do it if it's even a real gun. Go on. Do it! Yeah, I think we know where this is going. <laughs> Come on! Fucking do it if you've got the balls! Can't do it, huh? That what the girls say about you too? Little bitch like you ought to know better. Now, you're dead. <laughs> We know what happened. So is Shiro. I, I fucked up. I killed a guy. And so sorry, Shar. So Joe took the blame. You were the one who killed Suzumori? Yes. I told Sawashiro what I did. Sawashiro. Then went home. Lucky for me, there were no witnesses. So I didn't go in Sawashiro's place. I went in your place. <laughs> That's right. Dad sold you to the law to protect his only son. <sighs> Obviously, he couldn't just tell you how it really happened. That's why he lied that you were taking the fall for Sawashiro. You swallowed the bait whole and happily marched yourself to the station. So tell me, do you still trust the old asshole? <clears throat> I can only imagine how you must feel. Doing 18 years of hard time would have been bad enough. But then there was the other event. After giving him such a huge portion of your life, you finally see him and... Bang. Right? <clears throat> Must feel horrible even now. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Well, say something, Ichi. It doesn't matter what you say. I trust Arakawa-san. <laughs> then answer one question for me. Why are you in Ichincho? Couldn't tell you. Maybe because I'm Ichi Bad Kasuga. The guy who hits rock bottom but always crawls back up. I see. Even after all these years, somehow you've managed to stay just as dumb. It's kind of touching. Nostalgic, even. I can't even bring myself to be mad. What an honor. You know, I thought this meeting was going to be a setup. But you came alone, like you promised. So I guess I'm touched, too. What? You thought I'd have you killed? No. There's no sense in squishing an ant. I'll let you live. We do go way back after all. But I do have one condition. 
Don't ever come near me or Dad again. Understand? Well, I've got my own condition. Pull out of Ichin Cho and get Kume to end his campaign. <laughs> Pardon? I may not be cut out for politics, but Kume sure as hell ain't either. Actually, the Citizens' Liberal Party agrees with you. Kume is ignorant and inexperienced. If he didn't have our support, he'd lose for sure. Then why are you having him run? <laughs> so everyone can see my value. Uh, what? Think about it. If Kume wins, how will the Citizens' Liberal Party react? They'd realize that an endorsement from Rio Aoki can turn entire elections, even in favor of a simpleton. It will be crystal clear that I have the skill and influence to replace Ogikubo. They'll watch and learn. So, Kume's just a tool to you. An election is nothing more than a game of strategy. Are these Ijinsho revitalization shelters part of your game too? Oh, those. <laughs> those are the most useful tools of all. With them, I can round up all the illegal residents at once. Wait, what? I thought the shelters were helping people get visas. <laughs> Don't be absurd. The people going to them would never qualify for visas. The shelters will bus them to the Immigration Bureau, where they'll be deported. For real? You're lying to them right to their faces? I'm not lying. The shelter's purpose is there in its name. It's revitalizing Ijincho by cleansing it of criminals. Just give me an answer. Are you going to accept my conditions or not? Absolutely not. Well, then I guess there's no chance of us finding common ground. Did you actually think I'd come here tonight because I wanted to negotiate? Remember what I said earlier. The only reason you're still alive is because I took pity on you. If I stop pitying you, you don't have much left. Oh no. What the hell is this? I thought the young master said he would come alone. That makes you a fool for believing him when he said it. And for rejecting his offer. I can take them. Guess I'm kind of old fashioned that way. I tend to take people at their word. Alone means alone. This way, Ichiban! <laughs> Go! Hey! <laughs> Guys, why are you here? Just get out of the damn way! Let's go! I told you it was a trap. Listen to me next time. The infield missed a few grounders. Time to call up the reserves. Let's give Captain Sawashiro a show. Break through him! Right. Bring it on. I don't know where the other two came from, but hey, we're all here. <laughs> Hyper shot. Who's now lies attack? Let's do this. Hmm. Watch me. Just gonna stand there? Um, yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna do attack. Cool. You're in for it. Now. When you wanna fight, you're doing good. 
wait for. Uh, you know. Okay. I missed the Y, but other than that, a lot of damage has been done today. Let's finish him up. Oh, he's drunk and sick. Awesome. You're gonna be done medium well. Take this. Oh, three stats ailments. Let's do it. Watch me. Cool. Come on now. Collapsing chair. Okay. Oh, now he's in love with me. Let's recover a little MP. I'm shocked you're still alive. Alright. That's how you do it! I feel the stats going up! <laughs> Strong! Alright. Ice Hell spreader, yeah. that's a good one. Excellent. I'm getting stronger! <laughs> Look at me go! More guys. <laughs> Isn't this all a little much just to take me out? Come on. Maybe it is. But then again, you did survive being shot, so taking precautions makes sense. So this here's the guy who took a bullet from the cap. Thought you'd have some meat on you, but you're kind of scrawny, ain't ya? <laughs> Don't get cocky. Make sure he dies here. There's a man. In that case, how about we draw and quarter him? <laughs> no way he pulls out of that one, eh? <laughs> Do what you must. <laughs> Ever seen a tuna carving? Get ready for the human version. Oh. When I'm done, I'll put his head in a box and ship it to you tomorrow. Just do it right. You leaving? Scared? No. I just don't want any of your blood on my suit. So you're still the type to leave all the dirty work to your peons. Guess after all these years, you didn't learn shit from Arakawa-san. You never shut up about the boss. I've always hated that. Let him say what he wants, boss. <laughs> Poor little shit only has a couple of minutes to live. No, that's enough talk. Kill him already. <laughs> Let's start the dissection! Now, if I remember correctly, the scissor guy's a pill in the butt. Not a loser. All right, let's do this. Right. You want to play? What's all this? All right, let's find a group. Watch me. I'm over here. I'm just gonna take you out. Alright, we have win now. Might as well do it here.
Uh, do some endless desire. Very nice. I didn't think it actually did damage. Let's Let's go. Go. Over here. Watch me. You want to fight? Okay. Bring it on. I got this. Have fun with this. I hope this hurts. You can win. You're weird. medium well oh man we're just giving you everything let's say you're on fire oh you're already on fire oh now you're in love
week. You're being a pain in my butt right now. Okay. Watch this. I'm on about the serious fights. Get serious. Well. All right, here comes the really hard guy. Oh, this guy sucks. Cool. All right, immediately using the window. All right, it's just him. Awesome. Go. Watch me. Let's do it. I'm ready now. You can win. Gotta be careful here because this guy is tough. Yeah. Have fun with this. Endless love. Yeah. Just gonna stand All there. Right. I can do. You're in for it now. Let's boost my attack. <laughs> Mamba do pepper mill blow. That was actually Watch really good. Not good, not good, not good. Damn it, I ice spreader. Take a, oh, yeah. Just a regular power nap should be fine. I got this. Yeah. With this. <laughs> we got it. Oh, there he goes. You're in for it now. Out of my way. <laughs> oh, I'm bleeding. Watch me. Take this. Don't move. Go, 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 go. Keep capitalizing. Alright. The medium well. Take this. I got this. You know what? I don't like you. A gift for you. Go, 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 go. Gotta hold it together. He's really weak to magic. Yeah. Oh yeah. Have fun with this. Watch me. You can win. This sucks. Let's do it. Spring it on. Check this out. Go, 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 go. Okay. Come on. Oh, okay. Gotta 
Hold it together. Let's do this. Man, this guy. Oh boy. You know what, sir? Let me give you some ice. Yeah. Alright, Namba, he's all yours. Yeah. Alright. Goblin swipe. Sweet! Birthday banana. Up. Wound opener. I'll take it. Nightmare glare. Love drunk typhoon, which we've had. And nice. Relax. Oh yeah, we whooped your butt. Weren't you saying you were gonna put my head in a box and ship it to the captain? <sighs> Oh, so what kind of suit is that? That's sure ugly. Be surprised to see your head in there then. <laughs> Reminds me of the butcher knife in Silent Hill 2, except it's not as big. That guy was really gross. Are all Omi Alliance dudes like that? They're the biggest Yakuza group in the country. I'm sure they have even crazier guys. And that's what's flooding into Ijincho? Great. Ichiban! Hamako-san? Is something wrong? I was just at the shelter. The shelter? I was taking something to one of the girls. She forgot it at my place. But, but they were all gone. None of the staff would tell me where they went. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, they're gone. Calm down, Hamako-san. Please, help me find them. Hey, I'm really, really sorry. But they aren't in Japan anymore. What? The shelter was just a trap for mass deportations. No! Those girls, they don't have anyone to help them in the countries they came from. That's why they came to Ijincho in the first place. I just wanna... I just wanted to give them a chance. How did this happen? Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, son. If only I hadn't told them to go to the shelter. If only I'd realized sooner. It's not your fault. You did what you thought was best for them. He's right. Don't blame yourself. You were on their side until the end. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> God damn it. Where did the guy go in the parking lot? He was there, now he's gone. Just the knife remains. Oh, whatever, who cares? I told Hamako-san to get some rest. Thanks, Sachan. Ijin Cho just keeps taking hit after hit. Remember what Jungi Han said? That we should basically get out of here while we can? Maybe we should consider that, for real. You want to run? I mean, isn't the situation kind of hopeless at this point? Hopeless, huh? Well, you got a place we can all go? Oh, uh, not off the top of my head, no. How about you, Adachi-san? Nope. I don't even have family to stay with. My parents died a long time ago. Psycho? I mean, I could leave, but I would never abandon my sister or my father like that. Sounds like we've settled that then. Settled what? That none of us can run away from this. We're in the same boat as the Komi Jewel and the Liuma. So our only option is to fight, with or without hope. And personally, I say there is hope. How? 
How is there a chance of winning? It doesn't matter. A long time ago, Arakawa-san told me something. If you go into a fight thinking you got a chance to win, you're just being a bully. Uh, what the hell? Not gonna lie, that sounds kinda stupid. Hell no. A real fight's when you go up against someone so strong, you got no chance. Our enemies are the Omi Alliance and the Citizens Liberal Party. The crime lords from below are teaming up with the law from above. And I say bring it on. We're going up against all of Japan, basically. Too much for you, Adachi-san? Going soft on me? <laughs> Don't be stupid. I couldn't ask for a better fight. Let's do it. But can we include Tokyo PD in that law part so I can kick their asses too? Hell yeah! Put them on the list! Good enough for me! You guys are ridiculous. You know that, right? <laughs> Tell me about it. But... Admit it, you like that about us. Yeah... What is my damage? Nanba! Sachan! Join us and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can skip the pep talk. <laughs> That's why I keep you guys around. You sure, Namba? Your brother's okay now, and he's getting married. What skin do you have in the game? Yeah, I know I've been a butt. But if my friends are gonna fight, so will I. I'm all in now. Besides, it'll make for a great speech at my brother's wedding. That settles it. Let's knock them on their asses. All right, path went well. We shall save it. A lot of things have happened. A lot of revelations were talked about. And yeah, we went to prison for Joe. We went to prison for the master. And now we know his plan and everything else, but Let's start the next chapter next time. We're about an hour and 27 minutes in. Yeah. I'll start this chapter next time. Until then, I'll see you later and bye.